Hi everybody, Kevin Sell, CBO of United Group Services, here with you today with Drew Smith, CWI, and our United Group Services Quality Department. And what we're going to do today is go, up, go over the flange bolt-up procedure as more of a review, but also for those of you that are new craft professionals, as a more direct review to what you're doing uh, every day. And the reason that we're doing this is we noticed in the last several months that we had some events that were related to flanges and we felt like this would be a good video to push out that's short to the point and will instruct you through the proper procedure. So we're going to let Drew get with it. He's going to be explaining the process as we go through and then we'll wrap up at the end. So the first thing we're going to want to do is examine the face of both flanges for any damage or imperfections that could cause the joint to not seal and leak. The next step is we're going to verify that the gasket is the proper size, rating, and type for the application. We want to use the gasket only one time. If it's been tightened, we have to dispose of it and get a new one. Next, we're going to verify that the bolts are the proper size and length for the flange that they're being applied to. After the bolt has been fully torqued, we only want to have three to four threads showing outside of the nut. Now that we've verified that we have all the correct hardware, next step is to bolt the flange up. All right guys, now we inspect the face of both flanges and all the hardware that goes along with it and verify that it's the correct hardware. I'm going to demonstrate how I bolt this flange up today. Install bottom two bolts to hold the gasket in place. Drop in the gasket. Insert remaining bolts using a pin wrench to align bolt holes. All right guys, so once we get these bolts snugged up hand tight, next we're going to go ahead and start working on torquing them down to the required torque value. We're going to do this in three rounds in a star pattern or a crisscross pattern. As you can see here, I'm tightening the remaining bolts in an X pattern. This is to ensure an even torque on the gasket to prevent leaks. Two of the procedures have been completed and we're getting ready to do that clockwise rotational process as the final element but you know we talked a little bit about uh, torque spec and it's, it's probably important to remind everybody if they don't know ask the supervisor because in some cases we may have a customer requirement or we may not is that is that correct yes that is correct so always stop ask and confirm and ask your supervisor correct great well, uh, walk us through that clockwise rotational process, and then we'll wrap it up with the marking. Okay, so we've already went through our three rounds of the crisscross pattern. Uh, last thing is going to be to go around it rotational clockwise. And I'm just going to start right at the top and work my way around until every bolt is tightened and verified. So Drew, we've got everything um, bolted up, the gasket's installed, but, but go over um, again about the sequence because we just don't put these in and throw the gasket in and hope everything lines up, right? No. So tell us about what you were doing in the event that we didn't see everything because we were blocked by a column or something like that. Just tell us again, so you, you're going to bolt this up, but what's the sequence in which you put those in and tighten? Okay. Yeah, the first thing I did, as you'll notice here, I put the bottom four in. Um, and then I, I did that so I could drop the gasket in right to the top so it doesn't fall right out of the bottom. Uh, once I got the gasket in, I put the remaining bolts in and hand tighten them. Uh, one thing to remember when you hand tighten them, that's a good uh, point to stop and look and make sure there's no gap on the inside of the flange and make sure they're, they're seated up correctly. Um, if you go to start tightening, tightening the bolts up when you have a gap, it's going to tighten incorrectly and cause a leak. 
And again, if we do that, back to your point earlier in the video, then we have to get a new gasket because we've already tightened up the gasket and now that's that has to be replaced. Exactly, gaskets are only made to be used once. Uh, once they've been tightened once, you need to discard it and get a new gasket. So the last stage here is we're gonna mark all these bolts here with an X just so we know that they've been tightened. So Drew, as you're marking out um, the rest of the flange, we got X's on one side and lines on another. So the, the X's can tell from a distance if that flange is complete and has been checked, correct? Correct. And then the lines on the back side, on the bolt, shows us if that has been moved or not. Yeah, so we'll put a line on the bolt that connects to the flange. And as you said, that'll tell us if the bolt has been rotated and then it won't be lined up anymore. And at that point, we'll know that the bolt was rotated after it was tightened up. Super, and then probably the last step for the craft professional is to put their initials on it, right? Correct. We'll initial it, that way we know exactly who tightened the flange up. All right, well thanks Drew for walking us through this procedure, and uh, for those of you viewing it, if you have any questions, by all means call Drew or Brian in the quality department, they'll be happy to answer your questions. Also want to thank uh, Drew, and, uh, Drew Smith here and Brian Dennis for putting together the outline and our man behind the scenes, Ben Woolwine from Elite Welding Academy for shooting the video. It's also important to remember as a closing comment that today's application was on a steel flange and we do have work from time to time that involves plastic. That is completely different and when you're assigned to that type of scope, please contact the quality department so they can walk you through that process. Thanks, and if you have a question, please share to send it our way.